Hi all, so welcome to the today's tutorial. So today we will cover strings and vectors and how we can deal with them. So uh, let's first cover uh, with the string part. So we will take a variable in the same class in which we were working. First we will see how we deal with the strings in the blueprint part then we will see how we can do it in the C++. So some string and in the variable type you can see we do have a string so a string we use it for multiple reasons let's imagine you do want to save some data in the string format like name or address or something like that so this is the string it's quite a straightforward and in the begin play in the this is the begin play I will just print this value out let's imagine uh, so it's quite easy if you do want to append it if you uh, you know uh, if you want to add some some uh, strings it's quite easy just have the append node and you can just append multiple this is second can just put star or something like this and in the end some minus key so it's pretty straightforward you can see at the left it is appended the string uh, string but in C++ it is not that straightforward and the procedure is quite different so when we will shift to the C++ uh, first it's F string it's not a string so some string then a string quite easy and if you do want to append multiple strings it's quite straightforward in C++ so let's imagine uh, some string plus th this is second and if you do want to let's imagine append a float value in the blueprint it's uh, it will automatically do it for you let's imagine let, uh, let me have a float value here so this is a float if I will append it will directly convert it right if I will play at the left you can see it is saying 0, 0.0 so in the C++ how we will do it uh, it's F string uh, sanitize float and here I can just put some float value and it will do it for you so this is how usually we deal with the F string and if you do want to pass it uh, in the function we have already covered it in the previous tutorial so you can watch it and second is the vector so in vector it is uh, quite easy so let's imagine if I am uh, let me delete this or, or let us create a new variable vector and we'll choose vector here it's quite straightforward like we can just put some uh, it's a combination of three float value and if we do want to print it out it will we will do it like this and if you do want to perform some actions it it's uh, it's quite easy and it's straightforward like we did it with the normal operator it will do the same let's imagine if we want to plus 2 in the x value and the default value is 0 0 0 so it will print 2 0 0 so how we will do it in the C++ just delete it okay we haven't tested it yet in, uh, in the C++ part so we will keep it and I will create one more one vector so a vector some vector is equals to so one way to create vector is like 0 comma 0 comma 0 so it will create a vector for you and we perform the add operator right so some vector is equals to some vector plus I will add one more vector 
okay so it's not detecting as vector so what we will do uh, we will do a vector and we will do it like this 2 comma 0 comma 0 and uh, it will do the task let's imagine if you want to multiply it, it it's pretty straightforward you will just replace the plus with the multiply value so let's imagine if you want to print the value out so you log log temp warning comma text so it's a float value so we will uh, print f comma some vector comma x some vector y and some vector z pretty straightforward and we will just put spaces we can just to make it more organized we can do something like this okay we haven't printed the some string value so we'll do the same I will remove this it's a string some string and it's a pointer we will cover the pointer in the future tutorial so uh, we can have a break here so let me hop in the blueprint side we will compile in a second let me compile it's successful play in the output log you can see first it printed that string which we have stored so in some string and in the vector you can see it is saying 2 0 and 0 so this was a small tutorial just to have the understanding so this was it have a nice day if you are liking this series do like and subscribe if you do have some questions because we are just covering some basics here but as soon as those uh, these basics will be done then we will hop in the real game and we will create the game from scratch so you will have the better understanding of c++ thank you and have a nice day bye bye